Looting Farm Guy here, and in this video we'll be looking at the update to the Pitts Chip Trailer by Gamer Designs on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. And this is, um, this has has had quite the update. Um, update change on 1001. Updated trailer so that it will dump anywhere and also dump using the chip ramp placeable. So I don't know what the chip ramp placeable is. I guess it's a, a ramp not included in this, um, or maybe it is, I have to look, but uh, it will now fill with chips, crops, bales, logs, logs, root crops, products from your factories and animals, product products from your animals, along with any extra seed and fertilizer. So we're gonna take a look at that. I didn't see, I don't see the, wow, okay, I missed the the logs, I don't think logs on console, actually, um, if it did, that would be really um, crazy, but, <laughs> check that, but I did check out a few other things, so we know what happens here, now, let's just, um, yeah, you know what? I'm uh, yeah. Let's see where we'll find it first. Okay, so it's going to be in vehicles and and not vehicles, tools and forestry equipment. Uh, there it is. So it has all your normal bulk. Everything it, basically, it's a multi-fruit trailer now. So that's already pretty cool. No grapes. Not that you really have that many grapes. So. We have capacity options of 70,000 liters, 100,000, 150, 200, 250, and three, uh, up to 350,000 liter capacity, uh, which seems, it says 100 to 77. I don't know what, why the capacity is, looks strange there but maximum capacity here is 350,000 liters. Uh, we have color options and rim color options. There, $2,000 for chrome rims. That always makes me laugh. And a, uh, so, um, yeah, if you, if you don't go with the chrome rims, it's extra $1,500 for 350,000 liters, which is pretty good, actually. It's it's a nice size. Uh, it's not, it's not you know, a million or anything like that, but 350 is pretty good, actually. It's a little bit better than the Silage Boss, which is 260, I believe, so a little bit more. This has some interesting features, though. Let's get our help window on, and uh, let me hook it up here. <laughs> so, um... I had to try it, um, but it's it seems like it's not. Uh, oh, that, yeah, um, no, no, it doesn't take logs. <laughs> it says logs. I don't know why. Um, all right, let's hop in here and take a look at our options. Now we have an interesting. Now this this is works different than any other trailer I have tried in recent or at all in memory, and as you can see, that back door is swinging open and closed. You can close that. And it will, there we go, it's closed now. So it's closed. And now if you L1 and X open it, it'll swing around, swing open. Now that's significant. That's not just, that's not just a visual thing. That actually has a specific purpose and we will discuss and show you exactly what that specific purpose is. And that's the only option on this trailer, which is fine because it's very unique, I think. Whoops, uh, let's see, signals and uh, uh, lights and so forth. Very cool, okay, so let's go. This one is the modified version, 350,000 liters. And it will hold, uh, uh, if you want to fill it from a silo, uh, it's over here at the back. So the fill area is about right about there. See that? So that's that's all right. So you can be able to fill it. So I have, uh, you can fill it with anything really, any bulk material, not logs though. Um, say manure or fertilizer, stones, pig food, any, anything you like. Uh, let's put some hay in there. <clears throat> and um, oh, it looks like the animation filled it right away. So 
that's that's a little weird but um okay so usually you can see before um i don't know why i did that um you could actually see it fill um so let's stop it no let's let's let it fill so i'm going to fill this one all the way up it, it's going to take a minute right okay so we're full now now uh if you notice the it says well the door is closed because i have the option to open it so it's still closed and uh, whilst it's the door is closed and you go over say a cell point or somewhere to get rid of this stuff um, it's you don't get any um, trigger or anything like that so it's basically it's the product in your trailer is secure shall we say now say you want to unload it well you can do uh two one of two th well you can do two different things now you can go ahead l1 and x open that door and now that the door is open you can see it's freely swings as you're driving around now still it still your load is fairly secure and you can go L1 and R1 and unload here and you can pour it on the ground. Now let's stop that right now before I unload too much. So, um, so you can do that. Now the door is still open. So another way you could do that is um, X close the door and that goes away. So if you go, yeah. Um, so now it's closed so it's secure again so let's uh, so let's say you want to put it into a silo or a cell point or something so let's open that as you notice we drove over the cell point nothing happened right nail one and X opens the door again so now the door is again open and as we drive over the cell point it automatically unloads so that's uh, why I wanted to show you that to make sure if you are driving around and you don't want it to just automatically unload somewhere, make sure you close your door. As soon as I do that, see that? It stops. L1 and X, I open the door and it starts unloading again. Pretty neat, huh? So, um, yeah. Um, the unload speed for the big extra large one, as you can see here, is a bit, I mean, it's still fast. It could be a bit faster, perhaps. It's not terrible. It does, it will take a minute to unload all of the 350,000 liters though. So what can you do with that? Well, as you can see, it's an end dump with 350,000 liters. So if you have, say, a barn like this, cow barn and you have tmr um it could come in quite handy uh this is just a seventy thousand liter capacity one here and we do fit inside so that's very nice and uh, right now the door we have is closed so let's open it and we should there we go we are filling our barn with TMR. Now, it's, I don't know why it's saying TMR is not accepted here. That's a little weird. But as you can see, and there we go. So now L1 and X, we close that door again so we don't uh, accidentally, you know, dump it anywhere or put it anywhere we don't want, to, want it to. If you have cell points around and stuff like that, it will automatically see if i open it right now so now it's open and you're like driving along and you come up to a cell point or a silo or something it will automatically dump it out right so let's go ahead and close that again i want to show you one more thing that i think might come in really handy and uh there we go so let's put some chaff in there shall we where is the chaff there we go so um say you are um now the one thing yeah not like you're gonna be i know some guys like to have a little set a weird setup where you have a 
some kind of a forage harvester thing on the front of a, maybe a forage harvester with a dolly and then use this. I don't think this will work for a forage harvester because the fill point is way back here. Now it may or may not. It might, you, it might work. I haven't tried it. Uh, if someone has tried it, let me know. But um, if you're taking chaff from, say, somewhere else or whatever it is, and there's a cow in my chaff. Uh, here, I have, a, I have a bunker and I have chaff in here. I was, uh, so it's like, will it work to load um, a bunker silo? So uh, let's see, L1, X, open the door. So the door is now open, and now it has added the ability to dump anywhere. So L1 and R1 and triangle, and uh, look at that. It actually does a really good job. I actually tried it out already, so I know. But it's, um, look at that. And then just move forward a little bit. And uh, there he is. It's it's empty already. So um, obviously the uh, larger capacity one is uh, a really kind of that's really kind of cool. Where that it has an animation, but it's it's also it's it's also uh, functional really. Um, and it looks really good. Can we jump in? I don't think. Yeah, we can't jump in there. Um, so I don't. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. I really like it. I think I'm going to keep this one. And there's not a lot of trailers I actually do keep. But I'm actually going to keep this one around now that it holds all those different products. And uh, kind of kind of play around with it a little bit more. I'm sure there's a lot more other things you can do with it. It says seed and fertilizer. I'm not sure if you can... Uh, there's a lot of other things that you could probably do with this with uh, this configuration. It's very interesting. Um, I find uh, that is a really cool. I have not seen that kind of before. So there you go. Uh, really cool. Um, now, again, on console, no logs. So just so you know, uh, bales. Oh, it says bales too. How could... Hold on. All right. Well, um, yeah, it says bales. No, there's a. It's a no to bales. I, although, unless you want to try and put them inside, but then, don't know how you'll get them out because you can't actually walk in there. So now that bale is stuck inside there. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. No to bales. No to logs. Um, everything else, I think. Yeah. So, um, yeah. There it is. Pits Chip Trailer by Gamer Designs. Really cool idea on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now.